So, here's some confession time, right? 21 Day Fix Frequently Asked Questions. So I'm going to answer a few today, and hopefully that will help um, you with something that you're struggling with. I always get this. How much weight can I expect to lose? So there's no accurate answer to that question because your weight loss really depends on so many factors, like your starting point, how much have you exercised before, how tall you are, what's your activity level before and what it's going to be now, um, your body fat percentage, how well you stick to the plan, like for real, not what you're telling yourself or what you're telling me. Um, I tell all my customers and clients and challengers to focus on how they feel and sticking to the program, right? Eventually the weight will come off and, it, and how quickly is really uncertain. But as long as you have that goal in mind, you already have it like up on the board, you've already written down, you see it every day and you're in that positive mindset, it will happen. Sometimes it goes quickly, sometimes it takes a little bit more time. It really just depends. Now, another one is, why am I not losing weight and I'm on the 21 day fix? Again, if they find this in the first week or so, sometimes it could be the entire round. They don't really lose a lot of weight. In fact, sometimes they'll step on a scale prematurely and they find they maybe even up a pound or two. First of all, I tell them, get away from that scale, right? And you need to adopt the mindset your weight does not matter. Your weight does not um is not your gauge of whether or not you are fit or not, okay? People will always be surprised at how much I weigh when they see me because they're thinking, oh my gosh, she must be like so itty bitty, like 120. I wish. If I, get to, if I were to ever get to 120, I have yet in my journey. I got to 122 and it lasted one day. Went right back up to 125. It was killing me. It was way too hard. Short-term fluctuations are so demoralizing, okay? So please, your weight loss should not be the main, the weight and the scale should not be your main goal. It can be secondary to getting fit, toned, and feeling great, right? So all of which the 21 Day Fix will help you accomplish. So please, keep note about the weight gain. When you're new to strength training or even changing your fitness routine, your muscles often store water to protect itself, to aid in recovery. Once you get used to these workouts, some of the water will shed and you'll drop the weight. But stick with the plan, trust and believe in this process, and you will see results, okay? Um, also know that you, you can do modifications while you are doing the workout program as well as in the meal plan. If you're still not seeing results, I do have some modifications that I can refer to you. I do have some women. They have told me, I'm in a puzzle. Why am I not seeing the results? With less estrogen, sometimes you're going to see a dip in your metabolism, and that's why strength training and focusing on building that muscle mass is so key for women over 40. So it's going to boost your resting met metabolic rate, meaning building muscle mass might take a longer time. But for those that see the biggest drop in weight in the beginning of the program, it's typically because they had more to lose to begin with, or the metabolisms were higher. So changing... Um, through weight training just takes longer, but it's so worth it, um, and make sure you're getting enough protein for muscle recovery afterwards. What if I'm not hungry? Do I have to eat all the containers? No, you don't. Sometimes hunger goes in streaks, so I tell everyone if they aren't hungry, they shouldn't eat. I don't want you to stuff yourself, okay? It's okay to roll your containers over to the next day. Sometimes. It depends. I don't want you going to eat, not eating any greens all throughout the day. But if you missed one, it's okay, right? You can't hoard your containers, like I said, and you can't binge on them all at one time. That's not the point. You have to listen to your body and, and what your body's uh, what cues are telling you, um, when to feel it and when not to feel it. If you're consistently not hungry, you need to consider bumping yourself down to a lower bracket. Um, what if I'm starving? Can I eat more? Yes. If you're feeling legitimate hunger, like you are not um, feeding – your body enough, you should definitely listen to your body's cues and feed it. It's really hard to overeat the green containers, so if you need to add extra food, add another green to your daily meal plan. Also, did you have your Shakeology? It is formulated to help minimize cravings. So I always um, push that, and my challengers rarely feel hungry if they're drinking their Shakeology like they're supposed to. Do I have to use Shakeology, and can I use another protein shake? <coughs> okay. 
Let me just get this off the bat. I'm going to get my attitude out of the way. Shakeology is more than a protein shake, okay? I don't want to ever have to say that again, but I'm pretty sure I will, and I won't have the attitude. I'll have a blue cell moment. But it is packed with exotic superfoods, like 70 of them. It helps fill in the nutritional gaps to curb our cravings, provide energy, improve digestion. If it wasn't for this, my booty would be already sleeping, and it's only 6.30 at night. I'd be exhausted. I make it a requirement in all my challenge groups and my coaches because they have, they have gotten the best results to drink it every single day. Not only that, I've done my personal research, and um, I was a skeptic at first about Shakeology. I thought it was too expensive, but I could find, you know, the same kinds of things at GNC or One Stop. Let me tell you, I was wrong, right? So as a coach, it is my job to ensure that you get the results that you want. So yes, you can use protein powder on your, the program, it's going to count still as a red, but it's not going to be the same as Shakeology, okay? So there um, was a girl, and she had this great comment about um, how there's always alternatives in life, right? So just like, yes, you could drink a glass of milk as an alternative to drinking um, a cup of coffee, but they have different effects on your body. So there's no substitute currently available for Shakeology that provides the same benefits to your body. If you want to know more, I can share with you a little more about how to save money on Shakeology. Um, and yes, your shake does count as part of your daily container count. It counts as one red. Um, how do I count PB2? So your best option really is to use real peanut butter. The healthy fats are good for you. However, if you do use PB2, you kind of add a teaspoon. You could add a little bit more, but um, if you're breastfeeding or pregnant, pregnant Definitely both of them. You need to check with your doctor first, but I always recommend go upper bracket no matter what. Um, how do you count things like butter, sour cream, or mayo? So sour cream, they're all technically not allowed on a 21-day fix meal plan but because they contain too much fat and the wrong type of fat. However, you can switch them out for other ingredients without affecting the taste. Um, I mainly use, um, sorry, coconut oil. I couldn't even think what it was. And then, what if your food isn't on the approved list? So keep in mind, again, this is a lifestyle, not a diet. So I often will get the, is this food approved? Can I eat this? Is this allowed? Right? And, you know, the book, the 21-day fix, 21 day fix um, guidebook does a great job of teaching the basics, but you have to live a little. So I suggest follow your first round of the fix to a T. Perfect. And then allow a few more other healthier foods back into your eating plan and see the results. Learn more about prepackaged snacks or foods that aren't on your list by scanning it using that Foodicate app. And if it doesn't get a B plus rating or above, then click over to the alternatives tab and then see what a better choice would be. Um, protein bars like Quest or Kind bars, in general, protein bars just have too many sugars and they're highly processed um, to be um, a 21 day fix approved. But we can make our own using Shakeology. We have a great um, recipes for that, as well as in our Fix 8 cookbook, we have a, um, some really yummy uh, protein bars. Dried fruit are a yellow, and you can swap the measure, um, but you have to measure it in an orange container. And then last but not least, unsweetened almond Yay. milk, right? So if you're just having a little bit of fun um, and putting it in your shake, four to six ounces, awesome. And Autumn Calabrese, the creator of 21 to Fit, she considers it a freebie, um, so you're good to go on that. So hopefully you have enjoyed some of my tips, oh my goodness, on 21 Day Fix, frequently asked questions to learn more on about the program, sorry, and Shakeology, please comment below.